Hello and welcome to 3-Minute Gaming, I'm Nathan, and today I'm going to take up this game with your time and bandwidth. Today's game is Immortality. The third game in Barlow's FMV-style exploration games is also his most ambitious. Is Immortality to die for? Immortality is a PC and Xbox release that is also available via Xbox Game Pass. Should you wish to buy it, it will set you back $20, and the game takes about 5-6 to six hours to get through, depending on how much of a completionist you want to be. So what exactly is Immortality? Well, it's an FMV story-driven puzzle and exploration game, much within the vein of Barlow's Barlow's previous works like Her Story and Telling Lies, but much broader in scope. You play as a film curator, given a database of three unreleased movies of Marissa Marcel, an actress starting in the late 60s and on into the 2000s. The database contains not only the entire movies, but behind-the-scenes footages, recordings, interviews, advertisements, and more, all aligned to Marcel's life, with her mysterious disappearance moving you to explore the footage to try and figure out what happened. Gameplay deviates slightly from the previous games, where rather than using keywords to search, you instead connect pieces of film together to find new clips. For example, you might pause scene and click on the face of a character, which will then take you to a similar scene with the same person, though they might not be playing the same character or even in the same movie. You can do the same with objects, which will help you learn connections between props and films and their places across the wide movie filmography. There's insane amount of FMV to unlock here, probably about five to six hours worth, including the three full movies to click through. As you dig deeper, however, you will discover not all is well in this movie production. And even beyond that, something else might be going on if you scrub through the video in particular ways. I won't go any further on that as to not spoil its reveals. Files, thankfully, can be organized in a variety of ways after they are discovered and unlocked, as well as the images you take when you click on a particular face or object to link through. Learning connections and why clicking certain faces took you to particular elements is crucial to understanding the story, with every new discovery making the whole thing more and more compelling. This game also has an ending, which I have to mention because the previous two games really didn't, which is revealed after discovering the game's final secrets, and this helps tie everything off more neatly than those previous games. So all in all, this is similar to her story and telling lies with a more robust mechanic of interconnected images to find new content, paired with a deeper level of secrets to uncover as you dig through these three movies. So what did I like about Immortality? Well, this is a fantastic puzzle with an absolute insane amount of video clips, behind the scenes clips, movies, and more to piece together, and it is paired with the usual great acting that comes with these games. Additionally, the new gameplay element of clicking on various faces and objects, etc. to find linked footage is absolutely fantastic and provides a much more organic way of connecting scenes and facilitating discovery than the keywords from the previous games. And lastly, this game has layers upon layers of twists, character interactions, and more to discover. The minute I thought I had something locked down, I'd find something else that would help deepen it. There is a ton of depth to this game's story. When it comes to the bad, as with the previous games like this, gameplay itself is more an exploration based rather than anything particularly complex. Though this one does have a little more than the previous games, it is still clicking through watching video clips. Additionally, the aforementioned secret stuff can be difficult to find and understand, particularly early on, meaning you may dig a bit and still miss out on it if you don't interact with the videos in a certain way. Lastly, this game's navigation is a bit wonky on keyboard and mouse. I actually found it worked better on controller, which surprised me, particularly scrubbing videos and such. Some elements definitely felt clunkier than in the previous games. As you know, a rate game sooner three-point scale must play, maybe consider, don't bother. I think Immortality is absolutely a must play. This feels like the magnum opus of Barlow style of FMV games, the culmination of ideas and gameplay elements from the previous ones compiled into a multi-layer, highly ambitious mystery that delivered for me on all fronts, to the point I was clicking through videos till 2am. While those looking for a more gameplay-focused experience will again find it a bit dull, the depth and complexity of the story here, with its many, many layers of character interactions, twists, and three honest-to-god movies stuck in it is exceptional. If you enjoyed Barlow's previous games, you are in for a ride with Immortality. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. If you played Immortality, do you like it? Did it change your mind on this style of games if you didn't like them before? Let me know in the comments, but regardless, I highly recommend giving it a look.